so we are able to register and deregister we are raising events now the next step that we are going to do is you know create a job which sends out an email okay so inside our events folder we'll create a uh, um, jobs folder and uh, and the job in, inside that so we'll have jobs slash registration sorry reg confirm mail okay so this is a job which uh, we are creating and the namespace will be event slash jobs okay and our class name is going to be this and it should implement should queue okay we are going to use queues um, for the no dispatching of emails we are not going to do it on the thread because it can be slow and we don't want that so <clears throat> to use queues okay the one important thing is we need to have a function which is handle okay and for this to work we need to use some um, traits and contracts so which are as follows use dispatchable the dispatchable is which one was it i think it's foundation events no it's uh, foundation bus okay so that's done interact with queues interact with queue okay which is part of illuminate queue fine then we have queuables illuminate uh, bus queuable and the last one is serializes models okay so we need to do the uh, these four things and then what i will do is i'll need the same event dollar event user dollar user and these can be private and handle what i'm going to do is mail two dollar this user send um okay so i'll need to create an email which is something which i haven't done so we'll do send new um okay i haven't created the class so first let us create the class and then we will do this so inside events we'll have a folder called mail okay and inside that let us create a class which is registration uh, confirm okay this is a let's give the namespace now it's a mail uh, class so we need to extend uh, what mail label mail label right and so it should use queuable again and I, you know many of these things are auto generated through php artisan but because i'm using a separate you know uh, structure the for i mean a different folder structure which is everything inside events that's the reason you know i have to do all these boilerplate but if you just make you know uh, something like php artisan make uh, mail you know it just tells you that you know you create the name and it will generate everything which is there so if i do something like temp mail right um i should have this in place and you know it has everything so uh, that's the beauty of it but yeah because i'm doing a custom uh, thing so i'll have to write it on my own or i can use those stubs in here whatever is you know, comfortable so i'm doing this 
now i'll have a constructor inside constructor i'll send a user dollar user and i'll initialize this field okay and then i'll have the build as you have seen in the you know, generated thing i'll have build and inside this i will say return um this view okay and now we haven't created the view so emails dot uh, reg confirm okay this is going to be a blade file with um user dollar this user okay so we'll have to create this email uh, blade file so let's go inside resources views uh, we need a folder called emails and in that we'll have a php file blade.php okay um, nothing special so let's just say uh, congratulations h2 you have registered for the event okay we are not sending the um Uh, event name which is bad anyways we'll just need to pass that as part of the constructor right so why don't we do this um, new registration confirm I'll pass the user oops sorry this user this user and this event okay uh, let's go to this class we'll take the event as well okay let's initialize this as well and so with we we'll have two variables event so create event we have title right yeah so where is the blade congratulations and then my name you have registered for the event dollar event title now i'm using mail trap um for you know sending out all the emails um you can use any smtp service So yeah, this is you know what I was doing when I was doing some you know uh, writing the code before doing the uh, tutorial. So thanks, team. Yeah, so this is good enough, I think. We can go with this. Now let's see. Um, let's check the flow. We have everything required in here but we haven't uh, called the mail function right so that's something which we need to do in in here so and there are two ways to do it um, either i could have done it inside here in this event or i can do it in the listener i mean both works the only thing is we need to dispatch a job right this job which we have created which is reg confirm mail dot php this class will need to dispatch so what we will do is we'll say dispatch the job's name is reg confirm mail okay i will have to new it up reg confirm mail right this is the class and I will have to pass uh, dollar event registered event and dollar event registered user. Let's see, first was the event, right? Yes, first is event and then it's user. So, what are we doing? We don't need this anymore. Okay, remove them. So, we are dispatching a job which is this we are passing event and user in this we have 
uh, the handle method where we are saying send an email to the user and the mail is going to be registration confirm we are sending these two you know data inside the mail class okay and in some inside the mail class we are taking those parameters in the constructor and we are saying that you know use this view emails dot regs confirm and pass these two data variables and lastly we have this email so i think everything is in place um i need to do php artisan q listen and then let's do a registration okay we have an error what is the error hmm my <coughs> env is you know using q as redis which i don't want right now i need to do it array or something else let me quickly change that okay so i have just configured my q to run through sync instead of uh, redis which i was you know trying out uh, but yeah ideally your queue should be either redis or sqs something but sync means now it is going to run on thread um, but anyways so i am registered already let me deregister from this and so i have two events which i haven't registered yet i'll click register in here it's going to take some time because now uh, now the email is going to be sent through the sync process instead of a queue but you know if i do a redis implementation then you know that that thing will be instantaneous because my redis queue will be handling everything and if i see in here i have this so this is my event right yes event id is 9 and let us then register for this one as well Hit register take some time for that email and we have one more mail as well so yeah so we have a successful you know uh, um, event based you know email sending mechanism we have the event which is being listened by the event listener the event listener is dispatching a job which is this and the job is sending out an email which is this so yeah that is how you know we can do the registration i guess you can now do the uh, deregister thing as well uh, which is going to be very similar to this code so yeah you can pick that up and um, the next thing which we are going to touch upon will be you know handling the admin side of it where we will list down you know the uh, list of participants who have registered and a few things like that so yeah um, if you like the videos do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel